Okay, so the unit is installed, everything. So if you look in the manual, they will say you need to switch on the unit. So we can switch it on there. Then you, if your scope is, for example, this is 50 meters. So if your scope is, or if your gun is zeroed at 50 meters, you need to set up this module um, on that 50 meters. And you will always have to go back to that zero to range your target. Okay, so I'm going to press the button. There you will see that target is 51 meters. Um, so then, okay, they, let's say this unit is currently installed um, 8 centimeters below the scope and 6 centimeters uh, left of the barrel. So you will see, I will move down. So I made a cross there. So that is actually where that point there is where the module in theory will range. So I'm just going to put it back. Then they say you need to press the right button on the module to switch on the laser. There's the laser on. So if you see on the line, um, horizontal line to your left just before so about let's say 3.5 there is the red dot so I can now you need to use the two units um, or the two adjustment screws to move that red dot to that point where your module is mounted um, but if I do that, the module is not ranging correctly. So what I did, um, just to show you, so again, I'm going to range. There it is, 51 meters. Now I'm going to go, let's say, just take that red dot off the target. So in theory, it should miss it now. I range again, 50 meters. So it is still not off the target. I'm going to go more, let's say to the 2, it's 51 meters. I'm going to go there, there it's 51, and there it sees 53. If I go more, then it's 112. Now it sees the back wall. So I know, for example, if I go a little bit back, so let's say that mark there is 112. Just if I go back, that's a 52 there. So that, let's say, this is the MRAT scope. So let's say on number one day, um, that is in theory, so it's just past it. So it's six millimeters on 50 meters for an uh, MRAT scope. And that is if I go back to there, let's say on that line, and I'm going to move. That is exactly where I'm missing the target. Just to show you again. So if I'm there, it's 113. If I come back, it's 53. So that setup is correct there. Then let's go back to the top. So on this line, it should be plus minus one and a half um, moles down. So I'm just going to go down. So there we are still on the target, it's 51 meters. Let's say there is it on the steel beam. I'm going to put the two at the bottom. It's still 51. There is the one and a half. It's 113 meters. So my module is set correctly um, for the position if I take this back to there, so that is exactly that way that small red cross is. Um, that is where my module is ranging. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly move this. Okay, let me just take, so the module still says 113. I'm going to press the button. It's 51 meters. So all is good on that one. Now I'm quickly gonna go, there's a gong. Um, 
might not reach it. Let me check. Let me focus it there. Just gonna move. So they might unit is on that gong the module so it should range it it's 103 because that gong uh, is hanging on our 100 meter frame so if I come back so let's say like that if the crosshair is on that edge I'm supposed to miss it between the frame and that white plate 111 meters so yes I'm getting that wall at the back just go again, 112, just want to show you, so that is the 100 meter Corex board, 113, there it's getting there, so there it is, 99 meters, so yeah, that is how I do the setup on the element rangefinder module and it works for me um, so this is not the first unit that I found that where you put your red dot the laser um, that that is not actually the position where the uh, laser is ranging so I do it this way and then I know my module is set up correctly so I hope this might help you to set up this unit for yourself and because there's a lot of um, people saying the modules is not working correctly for them sorry uh, yeah so there is a lot of people that say the module is not working or ranging correctly and stuff like that or they can't range um, smaller targets but if you do it this way like I've explained here you should have no problems to range um, your targets so I'm gonna go down there are some swingers at the bottom let me see if I can find them yeah there they are so for example that should plus minus be the position and they are also 52 meters because they are straight below the frame of that 50 meter and if I go to the left of it it's 63 meters so I'm hitting that gong with the module and that is I'll say a 75 meter unit um, I can even check if I can go over to that small one at the bottom let me see if I can get that one Let's go there. That's plus minus yeah. 52. If I go to the left, so 53. So 52. If I go over, it's a 81. So yeah, this just shows the unit is working. If it is set up correctly, um, so everything needs to be paralleled with your scope otherwise you're gonna struggle to range the stuff so I hope this video helps you and please like and subscribe